Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to share with you guys this amazing salmon marinade or rub, glaze, whatever you wanna call it, that is so good over fish, particularly salmon in my opinion. This was filmed back in February, as you can tell by my nails. So I'm sorry for the delayed recipe, but there are gonna be new ones coming up this week. So for this recipe, you will need a bowl, some dill, ground mustard, honey, the fish of your choice, I chose salmon, salt, pepper, and some olive oil. Let's start by putting some olive oil into a bowl. I have some California grown dill that I got a few months ago in California and there's so much in here and it is so good. So I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons in with the olive oil and mix that up together. Now with some ground mustard, I'm just gonna place some of that within the mixture as well. And we're gonna put some honey in with this too. You can add as much or as little as as you want and if you don't have ground mustard or maybe want two different kinds of mustard you could also just use yellow French's mustard as well or any brand name and just stir it up all together I kind of like having the ground mustard as well as the yellow mustard because it just gives it a nice balance of flavors especially with the dill and honey and you can add some more olive oil or whatever you need next you want to select your salmon's fresh salmon meat that I'm going to season with some sea salt and I'm going to check for bones, and that is key. Even if they say boneless, nothing is 100% boneless, and you do not want to chomp on a bone when you're eating it and enjoying your meal. So just run your fingers all the way through it and make sure there is no bones. If there is, you could get some tweezers or something like that to grab the bones and pull them out. Adding some pepper, and then I'm just massaging the salt and pepper seasoning within the salmon meat. You can take the skins off if you choose. If you don't, then that's fine. I choose not to and then you want to grab a baking sheet just put some tin foil on and spray it with some non-stick spray put your salmons on there and then we are going to put our marinade or mixture over top of these there's two ways you can do this if you're in a rush or if you just want to eat right now you can just place this mixture over top of them and bake them as is or if you have a bit of time, you could marinate these. So you could put the salmons into a tight sealed container and then pour this mixture over top of them and marinate them for a few hours or overnight, whatever you wish. So I guess this does act as a marinade as well as a rub or a glaze. And then you want to bake these. I also added some butter just over top of them a little bit just to give them a creamy, tender consistency. And then you wanna go ahead and bake these. I bake it for around 400 degrees for about 10 to 20 minutes and I say that because it depends on the size if you have a small piece of salmon it could only take like eight minutes to cook I've had some salmons take 20 it just depends the size the thickness and so on you guys know how it is and that is the whole recipe there I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you in my next recipe bye